Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with um, a new look and uh, playing around with some of my looksy shadows that I'm really enjoying. And so I thought we'd go ahead and get started. So I did go ahead and use the Glow Oil by Supergoop SPF 50. Did go ahead and use the Zip. Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence, and this one's in Fair. Uh, this is the one from CoverGirl that actually, it has little beads in it, and they're little pigment beads, so when this product comes out, it looks like water, and you actually rub it in your hands to get the little beads to break, and then you put it on your face, and um, again, it feels like water, but it actually has pigment, and it's right around a medium coverage, I think, pretty matte medium coverage and um, it has I never say this right but Cuchil in it as well and that um, that's an alternative to retinol to help your cells turn over faster and help uh, with anti-aging so um, I'm really enjoying it and so that's what I have on again I do have the fair shade they only have like six eight shades so they have a fair a light a medium a tan and a dark and I think a couple of other ones but um, they don't have a big shade range. One shade is supposed to cover several different skin tones. I also use the NYX and this is all but up, all but up. and so this is what I have on as far as my bronzer today and then I did go ahead and I mixed. I wanted to see I was I always have a hard time keeping blush on my face. It wants to wear off as before I even get powder on, it wants to wear off. So I thought um, since we have some really pigmented products out right now that I would go ahead and try to go ahead and layer up to see if I could go ahead and get this to stay on my face for a long time. I used the e.l.f. Uh, Mauve and then I went ahead and used the Rare Beauty, the new um, so this is one in truth so I used the mauve by elf and then the rare beauty the new highlighter blush the uh, truth one and so that's what I have on there and then I did go ahead and add highlighter in fact I added two highlighters so this one is trefoils by hard candy and uh, this one is part of the Girl Scout uh, Girl Scouts collab that Hard Candy did and it's a highlighter that they did so I have that one on and then I did go ahead and add in the Unusual Beauty as well and um, so I have this highlighter on from them as well and this one you can get over at Timu it's uh, on their website did go ahead and use the Beauty Pie the Triple Glow as far as my setting powder today really liking that I actually have a backup of this so yeah really liked that one the essence thick and wow as far as the eyebrows and let's see the essence lash without limits for the mascara I did use these um, okay this one says Honda Yon. I can't even pronounce it okay so this is um, the eye pencil that I went ahead and used is one of these private label ones that you can get off of Timu. So you can get a pack of like uh, five eyeliners or 10 eyeliners or 20 eyeliners and they're private labels so they all have a different name on them but they all have the same packaging so you know that they're from the same company and that's what I have on there. Um, I do have the L'Oreal True Match on as far as uh, my concealer and um, let's see oh I did pick up the elf uh, power grip dewy setting spray I'm liking it a lot I'm not minding it at all it does have oil in the formula so you do need to give it a good shake and then you spray it um, and it's working really well for me again it does have oil in it but then again I'm older and so if I was still younger and had the really oily skin that I did back then I would be avoiding the oily dewy setting sprays completely but um, I'm older and so the skin is more normal to oily now instead of been, being straight up oily so I can get by and actually I think it looks better on my older skin to have a little bit of oil on so um, I had the glow oil 
and like I said, I do have that on underneath the makeup. And then I do have the e.l.f., the Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray on the top. And again, this does have oil in it. And I've really been enjoying it. Don't really like the primers that much, but this product I'm really liking. And if you want something that's sort of comparable to it, um, just to the Milani Make It Last Dewy, this one is gonna. This one has oil in the formula as well. So these two, they're they're not dupes, but they're pretty similar products. So just to let you know on that one. And then as far as my Luxy shadows. Um, I did go ahead and throw in a little bit of the ColourPop Fresh Greens um, on the outer corner. I wanted to deepen it up a little bit, and so I went ahead and used this color over here to deepen the outer corner. But everything else is going to be the Loxy or the Luxy. It's L O O X I, and. Um, they're, they only sell on their website. I don't think that they have any um, palettes. I haven't seen any palettes. It's all single shadows. They have a whole bunch of duochromes and multi-chromes, and they're a small indie brand. Um, to go ahead and get started with what I did, I've I've gone back and made multiple purchases with Luxy, and uh, just because they're such a good. Um, they're really good quality. Their shadows are like four dollars, and then they do sales where you can get them for three dollars and two fifty. And so I've really, I've been really enjoying just being able to go ahead and experiment with multi-chromes, multi-chromes and duochromes and holographic shadows are all the fancy shadows that the indie companies are doing. They do them really well, much better than the. Um, than the mainstream companies do them. And so it's really fun to find a, a company and be able to try out the different shades and see how they look and see how they shift and what the colors are. So um, this first one that I actually put in the crease is Groovy Baby. And so it's um, more of a duochrome and it's a lighter, it, it's more of a shimmer shadow with a uh, green green and pewter, or green and silver, I think is actually what's in that one. And then what else I did was that I went ahead and did, that's what she said. And so this is what I have on the lid. And then splash, yeah, it's splash is what I have on the inner corner. So I did go ahead and use all uh, Luxy shadows. And um, just to let you know, or to show you, I've gone ahead and gotten a whole bunch of them. And that's, I actually have a couple in another Z palette as well, but um, that's the majority of my collection. But these are all from Luxie. And like I said, I've really been enjoying them. And they have, uh, they're just really imaginative color combinations and stuff like that. And um, here, let me go ahead and show you the eye look. So that's how the eye look worked out, and I think it's really fun. I found myself doing a lot of green, and I know everything kind of is, all the cool colors are kind of where it's at right now. And for me, I kind of group green, I guess it depends what green it is, because if it's a green based on yellow, which is what these are, um, I would probably go ahead and categorize it as a warm, eyeshadow color where a green based on blue and I don't have any here but here let me show you I would probably categorize as a cool color um, I actually have a couple here so yeah these two greens I would probably say are gonna be um, cool greens um, and this one, it's showing up blue now, um, but this is Splash and this one is Blue Lagoon, but they both kind of come off with that, um, with more of a cool green look. And then with this look, I actually mixed it up. I used greens based on blue and gray and greens based on yellow. And so this uh, look has both of them in there. 
but um, yeah, I, I just, I, I guess it's more the time of year. It's springtime, and green just makes me feel like things are starting to bloom, and it's starting to get pretty outside, and that sort of thing. So um, I guess that's my explanation for going green, cool, instead of blue, gray, cool. And um, that's the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a great day. Oh, there was one other thing, of course. That always happens to me. So the lips today, lip stain. Uh, this is the Alta uh, lip library that came out with it um, during the holidays. And so the lip stain I have on is this one. And um, this was a good little library. If you see it on their website or something, and you want to try a couple of different formulas of lip products, and you're, you're not sure exactly what you like and what you don't like, these little kits are good. I like them. And um, that's where I was at, and I got it, and I appreciated it. Oh, and this is the other one. It's a NYX uh, Butter Gloss Bling. So I have these two on. And actually, we'll put a little bit more of this on as well. These are uh, new from NYX, and they are the regular... Excuse me, they're the regular butter glasses, but they have a little bit of glitter in them. So that's how this one came out. And um, they have a little bit of base color, but the glitter really shows. So actually, I'm finding topping or using these as a topper for other uh, lipsticks, and in this case, lip stain and everything is really working for me. I like it a lot. And that, I promise, is the end of the video. So have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.